Thank you, Tony. Carrie's <laughs> excited about that cool down here. It's much easier to work in the garden with that little bit. It of, yeah, is. And it's time now, of course, to answer some of your plant questions. Carrie joining us from Valley View Farms. How are you? Uh, great, yeah. What is this? This is coleus. So coleus is a wonderful foliage plant. It does get little flowers on it, but not. I kind of pick them off when it does. Mm -hmm. um, but this is great because it's going to give you some nice late summer and fall color outside. But it's also a great house plant. It grows well in the shade, so you can bring it on inside. Very nice. Yeah, okay, man. I like it. All right, first question here. How okay. should I treat the fall webworm that is so prevalent on trees this time of year? Most, if you take a look at it, most of that web and everything is kind of on the end of the branches, on the terminal end. Um, the, the caterpillars that are in there are really just going to chew on the foliage that are there. They'll expand that tent if they run out of leaves. Um, but it really isn't going to do the tree that much harm, so I'd kind of just let it go. Hmm. Now, if you have a new young tree in your yard and you have it, I'd probably go up there and physically knock them out of there, put them in some soapy water, and say, see ya. Okay. But big trees, not going to bother. Uh, sounds good. Next question here. Why have my summer squash and pumpkins dropped their female flowers and stopped producing? So I don't even know that everybody knows that a lot of squash and pumpkins have two flowers, a male and a female. So mm -hmm. the male flower, the female flower has like a little bump on the end, which is where the fruit usually forms. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't get pollinated, it's never really going to get going. So sometimes you'll get little fruits and they'll just fall off. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it has been, it's been so hot lately that bees aren't able to do their job, but also just plant some things around your garden to bring in some of those pollinators and that'll help with your squash yep. and pumpkins. And maybe this weekend will help as yeah, well with the cool down. for sure. All right, uh, my butterfly weed has aphids on them. You'll have to tell me what aphids are. <laughs> okay. or should I spray the plant with an insecticide? One of the nicknames for aphids is plant lice. Which I hate the name, but they're just these little insects and they suck a mm -hmm. lot of stuff and, and kind of cause damage to the leaf. But a lot of other insects will come and kind of take care of that if you kind of leave it be. Or you can just take a stream of water and put it out. You don't want to use an insecticide on okay. something like butterfly wheat because it is bringing in butterfly larvae um, and you don't want to kill those. So just be real careful right. wherever you are in your garden. Know what else is around. There are a lot of beneficials that you don't want to kill. So mm -hmm. that go easy. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Karen. All right. Thank